few months have made it crystal clear that when it comes to long-term care, we can't accept the status quo. Thanks to our frontline heroes, the vast majority of homes have now stabilized. But we have clearly seen the system is broken. And after decades of neglect and underinvestment, the cracks in the system can no longer be ignored. What we need is significant investment in the long-term care sector. We need to tear down and redevelop old homes, and we need to build new ones. We need thousands of new long-term care beds, and we need them fast. When it comes to long-term care, it can't be business as usual. We need action, and we need it now. My friends, we're committed to building 30,000 long-term care beds over the next 10 years. And today, we're making a historic investment of $1.75 billion to kickstart the development of long-term care beds in Ontario. Today's announcement will result in an estimated nearly 8,000 new long-term care beds and 12,000 redeveloped long-term care beds. These estimated 20,000 beds are the first step in a number of new initiatives we'll be putting forward to meet our target. And we will continue to plan for more long-term care beds until we reach our goal. And we're getting shovels in the ground. We're building new beds and we're upgrading existing ones. We're redeveloping homes to modern design standards. So our seniors have access to features like private and semi-private rooms and the latest medical technology. My friends, we inherited a broken system, a system where tens of thousands of seniors were left on wait lists for beds, a system where seniors are waiting in emergency rooms and hospital hallways, a system where many seniors are denied the comfort of air conditioning during the summer months. It's unacceptable and we're going to fix it. And that's why last week I committed to finding solutions for problems with air conditioning in long-term care homes. These are problems that have been around for decades. We've begun work on regulations to mandate cooling in existing long-term care homes. And today I can announce that working with the long-term care sector, our government will dedicate the funding necessary to ensure long-term care homes in need have working air conditioning this is something that should have been done many years ago. And with thousands of new and redeveloped beds on the way, we're going to mandate air conditioning for all new long-term care projects and redevelopments. I am 100% committed to seeing this through. No longer will the seniors and the staff in our long-term care homes have to suffer through the summer heat. And this important work will take place in every corner of the province from Windsor to Ottawa, from Kenora to Niagara, and everywhere in between. No matter where you live, you and your loved ones should have access to top-notch long-term care. My friends, together we will build a better system because our seniors deserve nothing less. They deserve a place that feels like home, a place that is safe and comfortable. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario.